G'day YouTube. This quick video will show you guys how to properly install the Ryzen 5 2400G uh, drivers. Now I went to the ASUS website and it didn't uh, quite work to begin with. I used the, the DVD, didn't quite work as well. So here's a backup plan to properly do it and I'll show you guys now. So basically you need to uh, go to a web browser and uh, go to uh, a web page called uh, support.amd.com forward slash en-us forward slash download now you could probably find it by typing this command in uh, in you in Google, but uh, what I'll do is I'll hopefully remember to pop in this link down the bottom as well. Uh, all right, so let's see, let's have a look. Uh, what you do need to do is uh, manually select, select your driver. So basically, with the 2400G, it is an APU uh, processor with graphics. Uh, so there we go. Then we also want to go to uh, desktop APU. Then we want to choose the Ryzen 5 uh, processor with Vega graphics and then we want to select uh, Windows 10 64-bit. It's the only one it's going to work on. Click go, click whatever, and then it'll bring you to another page. And it seems a little bit confusing, this page, but uh, as we can see, there's a download option right here. So download with the following link and click on that one. As you'll see, when you do download it, it will be called, uh, let's see, uh, February 12th. Uh, so it's February 12th.exe. So as of uh, recording this video, that is the latest driver for it. I tried all the other drivers. I tried everything. And I even tried the DVD that comes with the motherboard, uh, which is silly because it didn't work quite well as I'd intended it to. But this one here worked. And I was very, very happy to see that I could play games and do all sorts of things from that point forward. It was more than just uh, a generic display driver. It was a full-on ASUS one. Uh, ASUS AMD uh, driver of sorts. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that's uh, the one. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Yeah, take care. Ciao.